So in this video, I'll be comparing five virtual dollar cards that I currently use. GetPay, Gree, Clasher, Shipa Cash, and Rave. We will compare them based on their ease of use and the registration process, how to fund the cards, the fees you get, the rates, their functionalities, and also talk about the problems associated with virtual dollar card and a better option for you. Meanwhile, if you want any of this card, I've already created separate videos on how to get those cards. I'll please link to those videos in the description below. So let's get into the actual video. Now, registration on these platforms are the same. You will have to verify your identity. You need your BVN and you also need to verify your address. Now for the identity verification, GetPay, Riven and FlashApp, they don't need you to provide your NIN card. The only thing you need to do is to just input your NIN into the platform and the verification will be done done for you automatically. But Gray and Shipper Cash will request that you upload your NIN card. And the one I use to verify my own account is the one downloaded from the NIMC app. So you just have to upload the ID card you printed from the NIMC app and the platform and the card will be accepted. Also, you also need to provide your BV and your bank verification number, which is requested. And you will need all of this. You need your BVN in all of these platforms. And lastly, you need to verify address. You can use the utility B for address verification or you use your bank statement. So I think all of these platforms request that you verify your address. And the only thing you can use to verify your address is your bank statement. If your bank statement has your address in it, or you can use your utility b to verify your address now let's talk about their fees some of these cards charge you when you request for your virtual dollar card and others do not charge for example get pay charge two dollar ribbon also charges two dollar great charges just one dollar and clash and uh, cheaper cards they don't even charge you at all when you request the virtual dollar card which means on clash and cheaper cash the card is free what you'll be more interested in is their rates. Now, right now when we're recording this video, the rate on GetPay is $7.50 Naira to $1. For Shipper Cash, it is $7.28 Naira to $1. On Great, the rate there is $7.51 Naira to $1. On Clash App, the rate is $7.63.21. And on Raven, the rate is $775. Out. Looking at these rates side by side, you can tell that GetPay has the best rates, right? But the problem with GetPay is that you can't send money from your Naira wallet and use it to fund your card. You can actually fund the GetPay Naira wallet from your bank account to GetPay, but you can't convert the Naira in your GetPay wallet to USD. So the GetPay account will be really beneficial to those of you that already that receive money into the GetPay account, maybe from outside the country to the GetPay account or you are receiving money from your clients to GetPay account. That's just people that the GetPay accounts will be beneficial to. But the GRI account, you can actually deposit money into your GRI account and then convert this money to USD and then from USD you can fund the card. But there's a catch here. When you send money from your bank account to GRI and you want to swap these funds from the Naira wallet to the USD wallet, GRI will request a 1% fee. After converting your funds from Naira to USD, you should also be looking at that you also pay a 1% fee for every transaction, which means, which means that GRI has some hidden fee. While um, Clash App has better rate as well, their rate is 763 Naira 21 cents. If you have to compare this rate with the GRI exchange rate, you, should, you, know, you see that they are almost the same. With some, if you are dealing with large sum of money, you'll be getting the same rate. Or if you are dealing with a little amount of money, you'll be getting roughly a little different. So, Clash App rate is similar as the three naira. There's no other rate. There's no other amount amounts that added to that. But on Gray, after you convert from naira to USD with the seven of fifty one naira to one USD, you also be paying one percent fee. Now the rate on Raven is seven hundred sixty five naira. To one dollar, which is very, very high, and cheaper cash. <laughs> the rate is very, 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 very high. But if your main focus here is the rate you are getting, then you should you always was we want to for me the cheaper cash. Compare the rates 
Clasha has the best rate so far. Gray also has a good rate, but even that you'll be paying one percent fee. So I don't know. Clasha has the best rate so far. If I want to if I'm going to recommend any of these cards for you based on their rate, I will recommend Clasha. Or you can also use Gray. Now how to fund your cards. Funding all of this card is super easy, provided that they already give you Naira back account that you can send money to. On GeekPay, the, the Naira account you are giving is, is Providos. On Clasha, you are giving Sterling Bank. On Shipper Cash, it is Night Payments. On Revy, you are giving the Wema Bank. And on Gray, you are also giving Sterling. So with all of these banks given to so you, can easily send money from your mobile app to any of the account and fund the account so for the end of this account is very very easy and when you fund the account you can convert the money from nera to usd and on the apps and then from your usd account you can fund your card but the only problem is with gigpay you can't convert money from naira to usd on the gigpay app i don't know why you won't fund your gigpay wallet because you can't convert the money there to usd let's now let's look at the features you get from all of these cards now one of the features that i love when it comes to virtual dollar card is the ability to withdraw your money from the card because at times you might overload the card and maybe you just need the money urgently you can quickly revert the money withdraw the money from the card but not all of these virtual dollar cards actually provide that feature some of them you, if you fund the card, you can't remove the money from the card back. It's only when you buy something. For example, on the Gray and Revit platform, you can't withdraw money from your card. Although on, on the Revit platform, you can see this withdraw from card option right here, but it does not work. That feature is not yet available. So on Revit and on Gray, you can't withdraw your USD from your card, but you can withdraw your USD from your GigPay, Shipper Cash, and Clasha virtual dollar card. So you can withdraw this money. If you overload the card, you can withdraw it back to your account and then send it from your account to your local bank account. If you will ask me which platforms those all of these cards work. Well, for me, I would say the cards should work on almost every platform. I've tested some of this card and I can't even tell which one I have not tested on which platform. I've I can remember I used Shipper Cash on Google or Google Pay service and I think it's only shipper card I can remember. I use it on Google Pay service. I also buy Ostein, also be used for other transactions. And also, I can't actually tell, but this card should work on virtually almost every platform. The card should work on all platforms. And if you use it on any platform that has worked for you, maybe you use it on Apple Music or any platforms, you should comment that in the description below. Let's know the kind of the platforms that any of this card you used worked on. But I'm sure if the cash should work on anything, if you want to buy anything on AliExpress or Amazon, any platform you want to use the card, the card should work fine. All of the cards should work very, very fine. Now, if you ask me that which of these cards works with paper, well, none of the card works with paper. I've tested each and every of these cards with paper and I found out that none of these cards works with paper. Paper does not allow virtual cards. Now, there are some problems that are associated with virtual dollar cards. Virtual dollar cards usually have one particular major problem. Now, first, you should know that all of these cards you are using, they are partnering with other platforms or companies outside the country to provide these dollar cards you are giving, you are being given to. So, that is a major problem because of almost every time you always receive a message like, we are changing to a new partner, so the card will be disabled. And for those of you that are using your cards for automatic payments and they are using it often, you'll find out that there will be a time that the platform will just send you a message that they are moving to a new partner and that card will be liquidated. That is, the card will be disabled in your account. Although the money you have in your account will be returned funded back to your account, but that card will, be no, no, will no longer be useful. So this is a major problem with all of the virtual dollar cards. For example, GetPay, we also give, give me one dollar card some back data and after using the card for like a month the card was removed and was replaced with a new card and their justification is that they are partnering with a new company so that is one of the major problems with virtual dollar card they partner with other countries so the card can be disabled anytime another problem with virtual dollar card is downtimes virtual dollar cards usually have a lot of downtime although they will notify you anytime there is a downtime but you should you always experience this downtime most of especially if you need the card urgently 
maybe it should be at that time that there'll be downtime and you'll be able to use the card on say maybe for 24 hours straight before you'll be able to get the card so downtime is a major problem with virtual dollar cards and the last problem with virtual dollar card is that they don't work with paper i don't know why they don't those virtual dollar cards does not receive paper funds those are the major problems with virtual dollar cards they, yeah, there's always a lot of downtime a partner with other people don't work with paper so your card will be disabled so if you ask me which of these virtual dollar cards should you be using well if you are not working online and you're not receiving any money from outside the country you only want to be funding your card with your naira wallet i will recommend clasher you should be using clasher but you have to you have clasher and gray gray is even better because of i've never experienced any downtime with gray or with the gray virtual dollar card but Clasher also is also a good virtual dollar card. Depending, I'm not thinking about the but that, but the Clasher is always is also a very good card because of the rate there is very very okay. Then after Clasher, I think Gray will be the next one. But the one I currently use is GeekPay, and that's because of I can fund my GeekPay virtual dollar card straight from my USD wallet. Anytime I receive funds into my USD wallet, I can just fund the card straight from the USD wallet straight to my card. And I've never received any issues with with GeekPay, but GeekPay is my favorite, and that's what I currently use. But if you are just someone that receives that does not receive money into your USD wallet, that is, you are sending in money from your Naira wallet straight to your to the to the card, then you should be using Clash App because you can quickly send money into your Naira wallet and swap it to USD and the Clash App. So the two top recommended virtual dollar card is Clasha and Gray. I'll advise you to to avoid the Raven entirely because you cannot withdraw from the Raven platform and the rate there is 775 now right now the rate there is very high. Cheaper cash has a very very good virtual dollar card but their rate is just too high. Although they are not charging you for the card but the rate there is too much. So I've, I recommend you guys to try Clasha and Great. Those are the two virtual dollar cards I recommend recommend at the moment. So that is for this video. I hope you find the video helpful. My name is Victor Smith and I'll see you in the next trail.